Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Well, welcome back. As you saw before, quite cloudy out there for us in Dublin right now, even though in Macon, things are looking pretty nice. As I mentioned this morning, as we get right ahead into the holiday weekend, some of the eastern counties might be stuck with a little bit more cloud cover as we go forward. 72 degrees right now, 10 miles per hour for that wind, gusting up to 16 miles per hour. You can make out that cloud cover being a good bit thicker over the eastern counties for us, whereas right now, really the only area seeing a decent amount of sun are the northwestern counties but gradually as we go throughout the day today this cloud cover is going to disperse and rain chances well we're not too concerned about those as we head towards uh, the afternoon or tonight you see, you'd see a couple small showers right here that may impact some of our eastern counties if you live along or west of I-75 you're probably not going to have any chance seeing any rain today it's going to actually be pretty hard to come by as we head into the weekend you see this little system that's kind of just lurking off the coast right now and that's what we'll do for the remainder of today but as we get into your weekend it's going to make its way inland a little bit and bring a lot of rain to the Carolinas and right along the Georgia South Carolina border. So I'd be glad you're not over there. That is inches of rain. Flash flooding concerns are probably going to be a bit of a thing, but notice the cloud cover. It's really just the northeastern counties. We go the rest of the region tomorrow afternoon and a lot of sun. Now that cloud cover could be a little bit further west, but the rain mainly expects to stay off to the northeast until we start getting towards our Sunday. You notice the lows relocating on the eastern side of the mountains. It fizzles out and reforms on the western side of the Appalachians. And as we head into Sunday afternoon, some less cloud cover coming in from the west on the back side of that low. It could bring us a couple of showers during the evening as well, but it will start off pretty sunny for our Sunday. The upper 70s are the highs for us today. Notice that some of the numbers are dropped in the southeastern counties. That's likely due to the cloud cover we're seeing right now. Eastman at 75, the cool spot this afternoon, the 78s being the warm spots. But yes, cloud cover should disperse. I'm sure you're already noticing that wind gusts 30 plus miles per hour. And potentially, uh, for the most part, they're going to hover around 25. Sustained speeds get as high as 20 miles per hour for the most part will hover around 15. But notice how clear things are as we head into tonight. It's going to get a little bit cool out there. You're going to want an extra layer. If you have Friday night plans, we'll probably be in the low 60s as we approach midnight and down in the mid 50s for a lot of us as we kick off our Saturday. Shouldn't be too much cloud cover early, but you do see how this kind of makes its way into some of the eastern counties. If you're along or west of 75, you're looking at a pretty darn sunny day for your Saturday. But as for uh, the rest of us, Especially as we get later in the evening, yeah, that cloud cover will thicken up a bit. Sunny off Sunday, pretty sunny, but then that cloud cover could fill in later in the afternoon. These are your wake up temperatures tomorrow. Not too cold, but an extra layer. You'll want it if you got somewhere to go early. Your 10 seconds, you'll have your extended forecast. At Volume Chevrolet, get oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. So definitely some strong winds out there for both today and tomorrow. I probably should have put today as a uh, windy, but regardless, our rain chances have dropped a lot. 10% for tomorrow, that's really just northeastern county. Sunday, isolated showers, the evening, early overnight hours, and then we're back to a summer pattern. Partly cloudy skies in the afternoon, pop up thunderstorm chances, and it's going to get pretty hot towards the middle and back half of next week.